I have exclusive Fate Realm footage for you today. I've been given it. I've been given access to a farm by one of my viewers. Thank you so much for your support on that one. And I am doing an absolute every single screen you're going to see during that first week of the Fate Realm and what's coming up as well. So please do check out this video. You'll see down below. I'm flashing through it quickly. Now there was so much footage. This is a massive event that I've actually cut this into three videos. So do please join me for each of those if you really want to learn more about this Fate Realm event. Now spending in game, if you use an Android device, you can get up to a 20% discount. That could really help your progress. Do click on the links in the description. That will get you to the deals and also really help support my channel. So thank you for that. Okay, English Tim here. I've now got access to a farm account in the Fey Realm Season 1, the beta test now running on some of the solar servers. So let's have a look around. Let's get a little tour. So we're starting off with our welcome message. So dear my human ally. <laughs> Dear human ally, the Fae from another world have been sowing chaos in the human lands for many days now. Both worlds are looking forward to your expedition for common peace of the Shadow, Nether, World and Avalon. You and your army are sincerely invited to embark on a journey to quell the chaos of the Fae. May your trip be worthwhile. I await your triumph, Oberon. Okay, cool. So they're introducing this new, um, not new, old hero who's now a new character in the Fae realm. So let's click go and let's see how this works out. All right, so season one is ongoing. So what do we have here? We've got the warm up stage, then we've got the matching stage and then the season has begun. So the 23rd, that's now finished. So we've got through that stage. Matching stage, 25th, where I'm filming on the 28th. So it actually started on the 27th. So here it is, yep. Yeah, so it started at reset on the 27th. So you do get some notice. You're gonna get four days beforehand. And the whole event, it lasts uh, 40 days in this current version. I do know that in the previous season events, it started off as a massive event. They eventually cut it down to like a week or two weeks from nearly two months, I think. So yes, they do sometimes bring them down if they're just not yeah, they don't keep you interested for that long. So what have we got? Uh, so the season rewards preview. So you've got some intensity crystals, level five. So those are definitely handy. Noble badges, you burn through them like crazy. Depends how old your kingdom is, but royal badges, yeah, they're really hard to come by. So yeah, those kind of prizes are definitely worthwhile. So you've qualified. I can enter the season. I can join. Let's check out the rules here. So season one, Fate Realm will begin at, uh, yep, there it is, season will last 40 days. There's a matching phase where kingdoms will be matched together for the season's gameplay, so hopefully close match if possible. You can view your rivals and the season map and the Fey Realm after the matching has been completed. The top 10 most powerful alliance in each kingdom are qualified to participate. So this isn't every alliance, so your farm alliances might not get in. Uh, qualification not to be changed throughout the whole season so top 10 doesn't matter if you become top 10 during the season you can't get in and then the alliances in the same kingdom will work together to compete with other kingdoms so kingdom ranks will decide your rewards and if you saw my last video here then you will have seen that the uh, that there's a lot of stuff about that there and this is the full set of the rules been through this in my last video so you can check this out
Okay, so it looks like your other events are going to keep running as well. So that's uh, or certainly the, the standard daily your dailies is they own the daily tasks that you need to get through. So you've got your on a on a on a pass and um, yeah. So the Lord's reign is running, and we've got your yeah daily quests here. So uh, everything is going fine on this uh, on this. Okay, so here's some more stuff about territory expansion. So the stone flower mine here, so you can uh, check out which ones are presumably in our territory now. Okay, so he's out gathering, good. Now they are in the safe zone, so fine to have your dragon out in the safe zone as long as he's uh, not at war with his own kingdom. Interesting, so need to garrison these do you so this could be a war zone let's check the info unique resource only seen in the fey realm it's not currently occupied so you can share it you can star it and presumably you can send a force to occupy it so Let's have a look. So the illusion defense of the rally leader prevails in rallies. So if there's greater than two stats adjustment. So yeah, there's a handicapping system happening here. Quite substantial in fact, a thousand percent of its greatest. Okay, so it takes stamina to occupy these, but you can also see it's giving an indication of how well that you can, uh, that your power is, so whether or not you can. So my monster troop power is 21,990,000, player troop power is zero, monster benefit power. So yeah, it looks like that one is a lot more powerful. So this is a, okay, level five, level five, level five, level three. So if we look at level two now, still heavy losses, interesting. Guess that's because I've got no troops at home possibly. Yes, I've got no troops, so that would explain it. So I've very kindly been offered a farm by one of uh, one of my viewers. So this is uh, not obviously my main account. I don't normally sit on a um, uh, sit on a, an SH twenty four. It's uh, been a while since I've had one. Also, this is a solar version of the game. So uh, yeah, and he's doing all his dailies. Good. So he's already working his way through. Now I left on that mine. So 38 days, I guess this will pop me up. Battle of the Past, stage one, okay. Okay, so chapter two. No water rally on the go, I haven't got any troops to send, so that's fine. So you can get stone flowers, and then there are some fire shops, workshop chests, and what's this here? So mine limit up, so increase the number of mines you can occupy. So you've got to defeat one stone puppet, level four, to uh, to get seven of these chests, and then you get 400 of these points, and it looks like you need one point, uh, so chapter two. Once you complete the whole chapter, then you're gonna open up and gain this prize. So I guess getting two extra mines is gonna be a big uh, a big ticket. So this is chapter two. Let's see if we can see chapter one. So there's also daily quests that you can do here. So uh, develop season research, acquire stone flowers, defeat three stone puppets, and your daily login. So once you get that, spend 20 military orders. So here you can get uh, alliance points and also one minute research speed up so this is for the season research now so actually all of these are helping to boost your season research so being active in your daily quests and your weekly quests this is going to really help the alliance to uh, to build its power so it can do better in the battle event now what have we got the weekly quest so four week yeah so log in every day defeat more stone puppets or stone puppeteers Acquire stone flowers, acquire military merit, defeat monsters, so 100 monsters of level 1 or above castles. So I guess you can do more of those than you could a normal monster. Let's see where it takes me. Available only the alliance leader or our fond members become begin occupying castles. Okay. 
So there's your main quest, so that's going to be a running storyline through the 40 days, I guess. And you've got your dailies, so uh, get on, make sure you get all your dailies done. And you've also got weekly quests, so don't don't miss out this uh, this bit at the top here. Battle of the Pass. So this is, um, oh actually that's flicks between two, so actually that was been really easy to miss that. So, or you can go from here to here, and now there's a whole bunch more stuff. Wow, there is a lot going on in here. So, Battle of the Pass. You can only attack the Pristine Pass after you've occupied all the castles in the Hinterland. How quickly you occupy the Pristine Pass decides the rank and rewards in your settlement. Okay, so here we are. So these are the four kingdoms. 10291, 290, 289, 292. Those all look pretty tight together. So, yes, not sure if the matching was pretty strong on this one, but hey, maybe they are all very similar. So currently our kingdom is ranked uh, number three, and we have four of whatever this is. Individual wars. So the top rank will get 1.5 million stone flower, 500,000 of the fantasy gems for research, so and also intensity crystals to level up those dragon skills. And you can see there's lower versions, all the same prizes, just in much lower versions for uh, for the lower ranks. Settlement will be in four days, so the five days after you start the event, there'll be a past settlement, and then you'll be moving on to the midterm settlement. So that's after 20 days, you'll have the midterm settlement. And this looks like where we're going to be getting these special relics. So we've got the Dragon Presence Ring. Uh, that looks like it's only for the king, is it? When equipped, your city will benefit from the dragon's defensive benefits, even when it's not present. March capacity will be boosted 25%, rally capacity an extra 200,000, and troop damage up 2%. So those are here in the benefits. And what else do we have? So for the Duke, there's going to, or the Duke level is this? Do we all get it? Uh, so special property, when the relic is equipped, your city will benefit from your dragon's defensive benefits. So again, it's keeping your dragon home. It's like a dragon idol. It'll also have a rally capacity boost and a march capacity boost, 20%. I mean, this is quite substantial. Now, these also last for 40 days. So when you've got the Dragon Presence Ring Baron equipped, you'll get your dragon still home again. And just again, a lower level. So rally capacity plus 100,000 and march capacity 18%. So interesting, that would stack, in fact. So your march capacity would boost your march when you're in your own rally. So if you're joining, if you're the rally leader, you'll get that rally capacity boost and your own march will be higher as well. So it looks like that will stack. So that will make a much larger march. And finally, you've got a march capacity boost and the dragon benefit. <coughs> so... Yeah, there are numbers. Okay, so you've got one of the uh, king level, and then we've got three of the uh, duke level, six of the baron, and ten of the knight. So I assume that the king will determine who gets uh, each of these relics, and that's for the top team. And then you can see one, two, six, and eight for the second team. And then the third and the fourth team will get hold of just these lower ones. They won't get the uh, top level relic. Three, five, and six. And then here, two and four so uh, realm commander so it's the realm commander who will distribute rel relics in the three days after the settlement period otherwise they will be automatically distributed by military rank merit so the person who's fought the best I guess now we've got the season rewards uh, the individual rewards these will go to everyone these won't be distributable and uh, it will go through the mail to Lords of Silver Knight 3 or above. So actually you do need to qualify. You can't, uh, you can't just rock up and take these prizes. You do need to have qualified. So 120 Noble Badges, 8 of the uh, level 4 Intensity Crystals. And then we've got some uh, Mountain of Meat, 120 times by 100,000. And then 120 times by 10,000 of these Super Dragon X skills and then a lower version for the other prizes. So you can see that's still here, the level four intensity crystal. Uh, 
So in the midterm settlement, rewards are decided by the Kingdom Command Points rank. So the kingdoms that didn't enter the ranking will receive the rewards of the lowest rank. Okay. So at mid-season, we'll be halfway through the event, literally halfway through the event, and uh, then you'll get hold of these relics that you'll be able to start fighting with, and all the players who qualify will also get these individual rewards. Let me check out the ranks. So these are the Command Points. So, command points, uh, castle level 1, you get 1 command point, the Forsaken Fortress is worth 15, so that's a big one. Castle 2 is level, worth level 2, so each of the normal standard castles are worth what their ticket price is, so level 3 is worth 3 points, 4, 4 points, 5, 5 points, Greyrock Fortress, 30 points, and the Forsaken Fortress, 15 points, so they're worth a lot, that's worth 10 times everything else. So in this early stage, we're only on day two, so uh, the points are quite low, but these are going to go up quite quickly. Okay, so alliance command points. So each alliance is going to have its own score as well. So I guess there's, uh, yep. So same scoring system, just a longer list. So there's, oh, I didn't scroll down enough, possibly. Uh, Tower of the Fae worth 10 points, so castle level 6 uh, worth 10 points, so there's the first time it just stops. So castle level 6 is 10, castle 7 is 20, so that's the first time that the number no longer refers to it. Carmine Acropolis 80, Palace of Illusion 300, and then the Phantasmal Belvedere 500, massive. So lots of little castles, but you're going to have to do some of these bigger ones if you're going to be the top ranks. Okay, and then you've got individual exploration points. So what have we got here? Uh, yeah, so some of the uh, top players already 155 points. So higher exploration points and a higher rank. So this is uh, the level of the mine decides the exploration points it can provide. So mines of higher levels lead to higher exploration points. So you can see here level eight, level five. So Here's those escalating points. So these top level 15 mines get up to 600 points compared to a level one mine getting one point. I mean, 600 of those low level mines is <laughs> it's a long way to go. So level 15 mines, I'm guessing are tough to get a hold of. So that was part one of my Fae Realm. All the footage that you need to see of this upcoming awesome event. Do check out part two. I'll put a link in the description once it's available and I'll also make it my closing video once that's up online. Otherwise it'll point to a different video until then. So thanks for watching today.